Okay, this is looking pretty good. Um, like the painting on the face, I think looks really nice. Um, is this just, uh, oops. Looks like a solid color. Yeah, you might want to do some, some more interesting kind of texture on the hair to give it a, you know, more of a look of hair. Um, I think the pattern for the shirt is good, although you might consider you know, either painting it or modeling in some kind of seam here or buttons, those kinds of things. Um, is this just a... Just, oh, it's just like an image pattern just slapped on there. It's not really like painted on. Um, but you could paint it on if you wanted to. This one, I'm just a little concerned. I mean, it depends how close we get. If we don't get close, that's fine. But as we get close, this texture uh, shows a lot of compression and is um, sort of pixelated. It'd be nice if it was higher resolution. Um, jeans look good. I think if you wanted to touch up those seams that you were mentioning, you can do that in Maya, actually. Um, we'll show. I sent you a video on this, but I'll show you here really quick. Right mouse click, paint, 3D paint. And then you need to do um, assign and edit textures, and you know you can use the IFF file format; it's fine. And then now I'm editing them. I'm going to change my paint operation to clone, which is right here. And then first I have to sample, so I'm going to set the clone source say to let's say here. Whoops. Let's do that one more. So clone source here. And then make sure I have a nice soft brush like that. Hold down B, click and drag to shrink the brush size. And then I just kind of like, I don't click and drag a lot. See how the clicking and dragging, it doesn't necessarily, actually that doesn't look too bad, but sometimes it doesn't look too good when you click and drag. I do a lot of little clicks. Also means I can undo each step. And then set your clone source a lot. It doesn't work as well as it does in Photoshop. Um, because it's you know traveling along a 3D surface, so it's a little bit more of a complicated thing. But you can see you can clean up any obvious seams that way um, that you want to. Where you have maybe little problem areas like here. Maybe I'd set clone source here, and then you know I could paint away. Um, Oh, that's not so great. See, that's where I might want to undo a few. Sometimes it you have to hit undo more times than you would think. See? So that's easy. But then the very most important thing here is save, hit save textures. If you don't save textures, you will lose all of that painting work. Um, here's another area that could use some work. So you could touch that up with a clone. I like that you've painted the knees a little bit. Um, I would say this is pretty extreme. So you've done like a giant cloth bump map here. Um, well, I would click here and then we could, I think the bump depth is way too big. You know, something more like that. Um, but then also I would say that the, you'd want to increase the um, U and V repeat on there. You know, maybe play with these. Where's the repeat on this? Oh, here's this place you'd use extra. Oh, you already have it at 40. You know, let's try 80. Maybe like that. Um, the shoes have a nice texture. I like how you've done the, 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 the seams here. You could touch up some of these areas, but that's really nice with the stitching on there. It's good stuff. Yeah, overall, it's a nice job.